Stefan Stearns, who is accused of taking Madeline Soto's life, uh, has now, in some new documents, new recordings, it's come out where he says, I didn't start it. I want to know what does that mean? So you can find the uh, recordings all over Tube of the U, but let me scroll down here and um, we see when Stefan's father asked him directly about the last day he saw Madeline alive, he responded, it was shaping up to be a great week and a great visit. There was no reason for anything to happen that happened. Chris, the father pushed, saying he and Stefan's mother, Deborah Stearns, are at a loss for understanding how this came about. Stefan replied simply, well, I didn't start it. Then he wouldn't offer any other details. Oops. But... He said, well, I didn't start it. What does that mean? What does that mean? That's what we're going to look into today. Of course, this is all, you know, for entertainment purposes only. It's not facts. Psychic down with snarky opinions. And I can't imagine that anyone here is a fan of Stefan Stearns. But if you are, this ain't the video or channel for you. Let's look into, well, I didn't start it. What does that even mean? Is this just him trying to say stuff to say, like, it's not my fault? that the mother, Jen Soto, perhaps had something to do. She started this. Is he lying? Is he telling the truth? What can we know? Again, all alleged. Well, I didn't start it. Oh, my duck's upside down. Blip. Oh, okay. Okay, so what's coming across here is, how do I word this? So Madeline is, in my opinion, has been given a certain, certain things, substances. Um, here's, this is our routine for whatever's gonna be going on. There's a certain routine of things that are given to her. Here, you take this and you take this. Like, this is like what we have as our prescribed um, amount of things that were given to her. However, there was a mistake in what was given to her. Um, and then they too, my opinion, Jen, Stefan, have to come together to work this. It's almost like there's a dosage wrong in what was given to her. Now, I think we've heard before, though, somewhere, correct me if I'm wrong, um, that she got an extra dose. Madeline Soto got an extra dose of something that night. But this is like, not my fault. I didn't start this with the, it's something to do with the substances. Okay, so he feels, he, okay. He definitely knows more than he's saying, obviously. But by him saying this, it's like, well, I didn't start it with the medicines and I think that's where he wants to go in terms of like that's what happened uh she took too much or was given too much and um that wasn't him because he would say well I'm not in charge of the medicine but he is in a way but you know what I'm saying he wants to pin that part onto Jen so whatever substances they find that would be pinned on Jen uh, at some point like he's in his mind saying I'm coming to the rescue. I'm helping to solve a problem. This is a secret that me and Jen, we are bound together. Like we swore to each other. We're not turning on each other. Um, and I'm satisfied in a way, how disgusting. I can solve this problem for us. I will take care of it. But these are secrets these two are bound by. So I guess he's saying I didn't start it in terms of the medicine dosing. I didn't start it. I didn't start it. Okay, dick. Um, so what's happening? What's happening there? Because apparently he has given her her nighttime meds. She'd already gotten ready for, you know, taking her shower, got ready for school the next day. 
that's the story. Um, he's there and makes sure she takes her medicine. Um, but then how does this, how does, I don't know. How does Jen come into this situation? If, if it's like, I didn't start it, and there's two people involved that are not Madeline, I didn't start it. What is, more details, that's what I want. This is like, whatever was given to Madeline, it looks like, oh shit, this is going into, she's dying. Like, we've given her too much of whatever medicine that we usually give. Um, like, I'm not saying like these people are like expert level pharmacists, right? But it's almost like they have a set, like, we give her these, right? Um, but sometimes we give her this and sometimes we give her that but it seems to be fine well this night it's not fine and um everything's coming crashing down and don't shoot the messenger but the way this seems like well essentially it's like a mercy you know taking her out um it's almost like well we can't let her be in this state we have to Take care of her if you get my drift. And then we got to move the body. We got to move her. It's almost like the way this whole story is, well, I didn't start it, is that he, Stefan, in his mind is like, I'm coming in to now solve this problem, but I didn't start this. Like, we don't have any other options here. Um, we're in this together. I think there must be, well, you did this and you did this. Like, they, we have blackmail or we have evidence against each other. So, you're in this together with me. I'm not going down. Da, da, da. Like, well, you gave it to her. Well, you are the one who said how much to give her. Like, mm, beyond everything else behind the scenes that was going on. And this is where it's like, well, now you're going to have to finish her off because she can't be left in this state like this is like sick twisted shit and so then it's him coming in to finish up the job that you know we can't have her suffer this is terrible i wish i didn't have to speak in this manner but to be the you you know okay so this this could then be why We've seen that that has uh, been upgraded to first degree red rum, right? So, because there's actual involvement there um, in facilitating her passing. All right. Um, let's see, because I got a question earlier about what was Jen Soto during, doing during the act of red rum? So let's see if we can find out what that is. She's watching. She's watching. It's, all, it's like she's watching, she's um, talking, saying things. I don't know what she thinks she's saying. Like, no, don't do that. Do this. Da, 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 da. Like, she's just off here on the side. Yep, 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 yep. And then it's like there's some type of, like, disagreements and arguments about which way to go. Like, are you doing it? I'm doing it. Da, da, da. She's there. She's there for this. My opinion. Yeah. There's something weird that gets twisted though in the mind where it's like, well, we had to. I couldn't just let her continue on in that condition. This was what we had to do. Back to that whole mercy red room idea. Yeah, this is the creative idea. Uh, okay, yeah, this, this is, a, these are twisted individuals, twisted. 
Um, she's there the entire time. She's watching. Uh, she is... But for, no, not but for. This is just, she's there a part of it. Like they have a problem. They're both pointing fingers. She's there. You got to do this. She wants to be like, she didn't have anything to do with this though because she didn't actually put hands on. And yet she's there. This feels like directing because we have a situation like there's her with her this is her creative idea of like well this is what we got to do we got to finish this off um and then there's this like oh it's my baby no one's gonna buy that shit if there's something seriously wrong then you would go take her to the hospital or call an ambulance so why wouldn't we why didn't we do that why didn't we call an ambulance if if we're trying to play a game that <clears throat> It was just a terrible overdose. And then you could maybe see if you could get her help from people who would know how to help her. She was already gone. If she's already gone, then why are they taking it to the next step of... <clears throat> Why are they taking it to the next step? So, okay, so first off, we're not going to get help because she's already gone. Now we have to explain how did she die? What what happened to her? What, uh, right? And we don't want that type of judgment from the world. We don't want the judgment at all. We can't have people judging us. Um, no, we can't do that. So we have this idea, we're gonna cover this up. We're gonna cover this up. But if she's already gone, let's ask that. Could it be that she's, like what does that mean? She's already gone, maybe it's that her mind, her brain's already gone. Um, but her body's doing something else? I don't know, I don't know. Really? One more time. Because it's like, no, I can't let her suffer. Da 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 da. These people are on the internet my opinion but they're like googling shit on the internet like you know like how if you're sick with something and you go on the internet and you're like oh my gosh what's wrong with me and let me see if i can figure it out and eventually you're just like it's 900 opinions and none of them are working but there's this idea well i'm going to figure it out let me go on the internet let me google for if this if you see this does this mean that someone's passing away some weird searches like that There's something happening with Madeline where it's like, to them, they, they can see that she's closer to passing. However, it's like there's something here that's thrown them off. Like, I don't know if they're going like based upon like what they see in TV or movies or whatever. Like, well, that's what a dead person looks like. And then it's like the reality. It's like, well, that's not what it looks like. And there's all these different things that could be appearing to the person there, right? And this has thrown them off. So this, this has thrown them off. And these two idiots, demons, are trying to make sure that she is totally gone because she's like it's like I don't I think she's like and I don't know enough about the human body and what happens with all of this stuff but this I'm thinking here she might be the brain might be dead but the body's not and there's some things that the body's doing and 
the, the writing's on the wall, this is not going the right way, and we're trying to finish the process. Like, in their dumb, stupid minds, this is how they thought was the right way to go. Thank you, camera, for jacking us up again. Okay, so this is how they're like, this is what we have to do. Yeah, okay. Um, and then it's like, once we have this step done, then we have to think about what are our next steps, right? So then this is like, he's got to go out and dispose of her remains. What a sick bunch of puppies. Okay, last let's look into the latest rumor, which is still not really latest. This is from a phone call in May. And that uh, Stephen Stern's parents say they heard that Jen Soto was locked up in an institution I think that's how they said. I don't know if it was on the lawyer's advice, but something about that. But the main point is that as of May, the scuttlebutt they were hearing was that Jen Soto went and checked herself into some type of mental institution. What can we know about that? I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to say that this is because we're trying to hold on to whatever chance of keeping our freedom we have. This is like, once we get to trial time, if that's next year, the year after, God only knows, that it's going to be, um, well, after this happened, um, she couldn't take it anymore. She was grieving and losing her marbles and whatever. I know it's probably not the proper term, but nobody comes to this channel for proper terms. And so she checked herself into this um, place to get her um, self better in a healthier mental state um, under the advice with the King of Pentacles here of somebody who's going to inform her like this is a wise counselor, lawyer, somebody who's like, hey, if you want any type of chances of them going easy on you, whatever, this is the move you got to do. She did not want to do this. But it's almost like, well, do you like your freedom or not? Okay. Yeah, she's... <clears throat> I don't know that this is really going to help her because it looks like coming down the pike here real, real swiftly, um, we're going to have some information coming out about her. Uh, but it is almost like she knows what's coming down the pike. And so this is like a Hail Mary pass of like, let me throw this and hope that um, maybe I can use like insanity or mental defect or whatever other type of defense. I don't know what flies in Florida, but um, in terms of how she can escape any type of charges. Um, but yeah, this is a strategy. So I'm going to say yes, she went somewhere as strategy wise. So it's kind of like, a, you know, like when housewives get DUIs and it's like, I went to rehab, right? They immediately go before they get sentenced so they can have some leniency. Same strategy. Terrible, terrible fucking people. All right. With that, uh, thanks for watching and until next time, adios.